Hey guys, and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a little St. Patrick's Day craft. So it is coming up, March is coming. I'm so excited, spring is in the air. I'm just, I'm thrilled. March is such a fun month in my family. Um, my birthday is March 22nd, and so is my husband's. And then my son Jack is turning eight on the 5th, and then we have St. Patrick's Day, and just, all the fun things that come along with March. So it's a big month in my house. And of course the kids love to dress up in green and go to school. So I made this one for my daughter and I'm going to be making a second one for my son. I, I bought him a, another t-shirt I'm gonna do that with. But uh, yeah, so this um, little application here is basically what we used to do before we had the Cricut. Now the Cricut, you could just cut out your fabric and it's super easy. Um, but before we had the Cricut, we did this technique and I absolutely love it. It is so easy and I also, I kind of find it easier. Um, so if you're not interested in investing in a really expensive machine, then this is a technique that you will want to try. Um, and you can use this with any pattern, of course. You can even use this with letters. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, of course, stick around. If you do decide to make this, I would love to see it. So head over to Instagram and Facebook over at Charmed by Ashley and uh, join the community and show me what you're working on. Um, so without further ado, let's just get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so I have everything I need. I have my template, which I created over at the blog post. So if you're interested in getting your hands on this, it's for free over there. So you just go over to the blog post, scroll down to the bottom of the page, click the big blue button, and you can grab this template. Um, I have two hearts. I'm using this one as a guide and this one as my template. So if you want to do the heart design, that is there for you. So I have that. I have cotton fabric, which I'll be using for the applique. I'm using this pink kind of peachy color for the heart and then this super cute clover fabric for the actual four leaf clover. I'm using a product called Heat and Bond. You may have seen it before. This is actually a Heat and Bond adhesive. So it's got glue on both sides. It's sort of like a sticker, but we're going to iron it on. So I'll show you how to use that. And then I'm just using a regular t-shirt. I got this nice sage green t-shirt over at the children's place. So we're gonna use this and we can get starting to cut out our pattern piece. Okay, so now we have our pattern piece cut out. We have both of our pattern pieces. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up um, close to the edge on my fabric and I'm just going to cut a square out of the fabric around it um, and that'll just make things easier for when we have to cut a shamrock out of the fabric. So we just want it to be the size of it and we can put that to the side and we will get just a little piece of the pink fabric, ever so small. Just like that. Okay, so now we have our heat and bond. And like I said, there's glue on both sides of this. So this is the glue side. And then on the back, it's sort of like that sticker paper that you would peel off the back of a sticker. So we're going to take our little square piece of fabric. We're gonna put that on top of the heat and bond. And we're just gonna use a hot dry iron and we're gonna press that and that's gonna secure onto the back of the fabric. Just gonna concentrate my iron on, this, on the middle because I'm not using the whole piece of fabric. So just make sure that it is on really well. And I think I'm gonna need a lot of heat. 
and you really need to melt it. Now I don't have the um, the package anymore for the heat and bond. You can see it says heat and bond ultra hold, but I will have a link in the description box for this product um, as well as at the blog post. Okay, so the glue, of course, will melt on the inside. We're just gonna let it fully um, cool down and we can work on tracing our template onto this piece of paper. Now, the great thing about the heat and bond is that on the back, it is like a piece of paper, so you can draw directly onto it. So I'm going to have it like that. So I'm gonna make it so that, because on the t-shirt, I want this little tail to go that way. So if I were to do it like this, then, um, it would be sort of mirrored, so I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to get a Sharpie or something. doesn't matter because this is going to peel off, so use whatever you have. And I'm going to do the same thing with the heart. I'm going to put that on the back, and we're just going to trace around that. So now we can place our template aside and we can leave that alone um, if you want to use it again for another t-shirt and we have it all traced out and then we're just going to go ahead and cut it out and because we have that heat and bond there it sort of acts like a stabilizer as well so it's almost like just cutting out a piece of paper um, as you can see it's like flat which is amazing and makes it very easy. And then you can see that my heart came out really, really nice. Edges are nice and clean. Um, the back is just like now it's essentially a sticker, which is so cool. And I absolutely love this product. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do this really quick and I'm going to cut out the shamrock. Okay, so we have both of our pieces cut out. How cute is this? I'm absolutely obsessed. It just looks so good. And I'm obsessed with the shamrock print. And then we're gonna have a cute little heart. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I put it there. Um, but we'll see. Um, I, think I'll, I think I might keep it there. So now we are going to get our shirt and we can do the ironing on process. So I actually, I like to use my um, little ironing boards here. So if you have something like this, um, you can essentially put it inside of your shirt. And this might not necessarily be important. Um, this is just in case the, the glue happens to go through the fibers onto the back of the shirt. Um, I don't I don't mean I don't think that'll happen. I don't think it happened when I tried to do it last time, but just in case it'll give us a good hard press. This is a pretty hard ironing board. So I'm just going to try to make it so that I'm able to center it into the shirt. Okay, I have my t-shirt all set up and look at how cute that looks oh my goodness okay so next we are going to we're going to peel off the back of this so hoping that everything is completely cooled down 
but it is essentially just like a sticker. So it's not going to be um, like sticky like a sticker because we have to melt that glue. Okay. And you want to make sure that it all comes off because if not, then you didn't press it well on the other side when you first fused it to the fabric. But that came off beautifully. And you can just kind of work and figure out where you want it. I think this is the center. I hope it's the center. It looks like it is. If you have one of those templates, that you can put up there to center it perfectly. That would be a good time to use it. Um, so from here, you're just going to press it. And you don't need any parchment paper or anything because this is fabric. And you're not going to worry about, you know, that falling or that melting anything. So we're just going to take that hot dry iron again and place that on top. Try not to wrinkle it. Okay. And I'm gonna press it more, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the heart on. So we'll do the same thing with the heart. We'll take off the backing like that. And then you can place that Okay, super cute. Okay, keep pressing. Now from here you could totally just call it a day. This could be it for you. And it will fuse onto your shirt and it'll stay beautiful. Um, but I'm not quite sure how the um, edges of the fabric will fare once it's you know, thrown in the wash and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do an extra step on top of this and I'm going to do a stitch around my image and this is just gonna help just in case the, the glue does end up failing one day. Um, I don't have to worry about it coming off. Let's just see here. So you should be able to go like that and it not come up. It's still a little hot, so it might, you know, it might still want to come up if you if you try hard enough. So I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you how to do that part. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to look at my sewing machine and I'm going to figure out which stitch I want to use. I think I'm going to use number 33, which is kind of like a blanket stitch, they call it. And that will help to kind of edge off the fabric, make it look really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and then 33. There you go. Okay, and I have my right foot on. T-shirt, want to open it up. So of course we don't sew through the layers of fabric and then we'll pick a spot to start. Um, actually, I'm just going to get a piece of that. First, I'm going to test out the stitch, make sure that I like the size of it. Okay, so that's how it'll look. Hopefully you can see that. That's perfect. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to outline it. And as we go, those stitches will go on the inside. So we're going to outline it from this edge. I'm just going to go ahead and start. And once you get going a little bit, then you'll see where your needle's going to fall. Try not to go cross-eyed. 
because that'll happen. <laughs> just move along and this is a nice slow stitch so you really can't make a mistake with this which is nice even if I go I mean even if I went really fast it's still a good speed to be able to keep up because you really do just move by the millimeter So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and then I will meet you back when it's done. And we're done! How adorable is this? I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I love the little blanket stitch. It just adds a little bit of texture to the clover. And then I went ahead and I did a second one for my son. And I chose not to do the little heart. So this is what it looks like if you don't want to do the heart. Still super cute with the blanket stitch all the way around. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you give it a try. Of course, if you do, um, share over on Facebook and Instagram. I would love to see it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.